Ciara Estrada didn't kill herself. All right, so I'm going to see the uh, public defender, and I'm going to keep this running. Totally and took another supervisor on the fifth day who said, hey, I don't know why you keep coming here because she wouldn't be able to meet you anyway if you didn't have an appointment. Not something you think he would know or that she would know and would have left him a message, but she did. So I came all the fucking way down here five she times. Upset, but she did not know she I don't believe you, okay? Me going to see the uh, public defender. There was a 25 second video shown and one of the witnesses contradicted that video and I'm scribbling notes and trying to get my lawyer to object, but nothing, just sat there through the whole fucking thing. But I mean, is that normal for, for, I, I for, a, for someone who works in your office to absolutely not represent the client any way whatsoever? Is that normal or is this a special case for me? I wasn't at the prelim, so here we go. Because this has happened absolutely every time since I got out of jail a month ago. And I'm just here to fire her. Okay, then, so can I tell you how to do that? Yeah, please. Okay, so when you go to court uh -huh. on Monday, yeah. you let the judge know you have like a Mars in here. Okay. Okay? Howdy. Hey, you just said something that contradicted the video we just watched. Can we talk about that? That's a cross-examination. That was her job, right? So you can talk to the judge about But I mean, that's her job. It is her job, but yeah. I wasn't there, so I no. don't know what, what... But do you think you should, should look into it? would have been done. I mean, if she doesn't cross-examine the witnesses at all when they contradict the video that we shown... I mean, it was a 25-second video, and he contradicted it twice. And she wouldn't... And I'm, I'm showing them the notes. Hey, this is all wrong. Didn't object once. There he is. What's up, Chief? Well, theoretically, I have an appointment with uh, Karen Solder Sowell. Okay, okay. What time? Who knows, man? She, she can't keep track. Supervisor. Okay. She just texted me that the judge just barely took the bench. She was supposed to have court at 1 30 and be done and back here for your meeting. But the judge is at 2 30 and on the second case of the afternoon. So she is not, I, we have no ETA. So she'd like to reschedule. She didn't have her um, work phone with her at court. She's had her computer. So she um, emailed me. So do you um, want me just to have her call you to reschedule later you're making, today? You're making a joke or. Like, like I'm the court. The court hearing is Monday. I understand. It's been a I month. It's, I'm finally getting the meeting today, which I had a beggar to schedule. It took her a week to give me her cell phone number, and then she lost her cell phone or something. Is it in a different state? And her, her message was weird. Hi, Seth. It's Karen at the public defender's office. I have been out of state, and I have an issue with my work cell phone. An issue. So if you've been texting me, I have not gotten any text messages. So please call my desk phone at 619. I also cannot access our text messages. So I don't recall which day I scheduled to have you come in. I am available Today. tomorrow afternoon if you want to come in tomorrow afternoon. To be here now. Um, but please call me back at this number so we can set up a time. Hopefully tomorrow afternoon works, and I'm sorry if we have set another day. Um, again, 619. So she, she was out of town. She was out of town. But she's back. She is. She's in court right now. But her cell phone was left out of town? No. Because she, she said I couldn't text her because she didn't have her cell phone because she was out of town. So, but, so when she was out of town... Uh -huh. She was on vacation. She mm -hmm. did not have her work cell phone. She was probably emailing you. She not, no, she doesn't contact me. No. Okay. She does not have her work cell with her at court today, so uh -huh. that's why she contacted me uh -huh. to say she does not know when she's going to be done with court today. Wow. So 100% so of the time that I've tried to sit down with her has been some sort of wacky problem. That's weird. I mean, I mean it, 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 if, if this happened with a... You're her supervisor, right? Yes. And your name was? Beth. Beth? 
Do you have a last name? Alch. Or? What is it? Alch. Alch. Okay. So, I mean, if this was the way she treated all of her clients, she would have been fired years ago. Correct? I mean, that's not a decision constant, for me. But I mean, constant, like, the entire, from the day I got out of jail, and this guy can testify, I came here five times because I didn't have a phone. But she never once left a message with him saying, hey, meet me on this day. Totally and took another supervisor on the fifth day who said, hey, I don't know why you keep coming here because she wouldn't be able to meet you anyway if you didn't have an appointment. Not something you think he would know or that she would know and would have left him a message. But she did. So I came all the fucking way down here five I times. I understand why you're upset, but she did not know you. I don't believe you, Okay. Because this has happened absolutely every time since I got out of jail a month ago. I and I'm just here to fire her. Court. Okay, then, so can I tell you how to do that? Yeah, please. Okay, so when you go to court uh -huh. on Monday, yeah. you let the judge know you would like a Marsden hearing. Okay. Okay? And then the judge will clear the courtroom. Okay. She'll, she and uh, the judge, if it's male, female, I don't know who, will be there. The prosecutor will not be in the room. Okay. It will be you, the judge, court reporter, and Miss Sal. Miss Sal, oh, good. And, you and that'll be re recorded because the court reporter's there. So everything yes. said during that will be actually on record. Yes, but it's, okay. it's sealed. It's sealed in the court file. Well, who gets to decide whether it comes out? The judge. Okay. So you can do that on Monday. Okay. I will um, let her know that you're not happy. You and think? I will let her know... Uh, that she should contact you. No, all the all the different evidence that because the other thing was in court, both of the witnesses totally lied on the stand. Completely, con there was a twenty five second video shown, and one of the witnesses contradicted that video. And I'm scribbling notes and trying to get my lawyer to object, but nothing. Just sat there through the whole fucking thing. Okay, well you could you could take that up to the judge. Yeah. But I mean, is that normal? For, I, for, I, I don't for, a, know for someone who works in your office to absolutely not represent the client any way whatsoever. Is that normal? Or is this a special case for me? I wasn't at the prelim, so I don't know what the witnesses were testifying to. Well, and I mean, it was a video. If and there he, was something to object to or not. I know Ms. Sell's a good attorney. I'm, I'm that's sorry what I thought. That she said she's been an attorney for 10 years. I'm, I'm sorry that she's not been able to connect with you, and that's. it sounds like some unforeseen circumstances. Yes. But, but again, if that so was just it, if, if she had objected when the witnesses were lying under oath in court. I don't know what the objection would be. Objection lying? I mean, there has to be a legal She could have asked the question then. There has to be a hey, legal Hey, you objection. just said something that contradicted the video we just watched. Can we talk about that? That's a cross-examination. That was yeah. her job, right? And so you can talk to the judge about But I mean, that's her job. It is her job, but yeah. I wasn't there, so I no. don't know what, what but do you think should, you should have, look have into or it? would have been done. I mean, if she doesn't cross-examine the witnesses at all when they contradict the video that was shown. I mean, it was a 25-second video, and he contradicted it twice. And she wouldn't, and I'm screaming, I'm showing them the notes, hey, this is all wrong. Nothing. Didn't object okay, once. Well, I'll let Carrie know. But again, are you going to look into it, or? Yeah. Good. Of course. You're going to want my full statement, or you want to go with the Marsden, will you get a copy of the Marsden transcript? No. Okay. Because I think the, you would need it the judge, to. The judge would have to release it. Could I, I can ask him to, though. Um, I don't know if he will. Okay. Um, and I'm allowed to, I mean, she's, she obviously is bound by attorney-client privileges, but everything that her and I have said, I'm allowed to share publicly. Yes. Okay, because I've been posting the you, entire tech chain, because I, I reached out to the cop who was investigating me, and I asked him a whole bunch of questions, and then I texted her that I had reached out to him, and you would think she'd say, hey, don't talk to him, because he's investigating. Nothing. Didn't even mention strange. it. Yeah, right? But I mean, I shouldn't talk to him, right? I wouldn't recommend that. But mm, you think she would have said that. But she didn't. Weird. Okay. How well, bad how bad this I, has I, been. I'm sorry that you are not having a good experience. Mm. I'll address it with her. I, that'd be great. Um, do you want me to ask her to reschedule or do you want no to just point. have them I mean what, what you think I'm gonna I mean the idea this is now the seventh time I've been here and I've never seen talked to her in this building. Okay. Well I'll have a conversation with so her. So I'll just She's do the Marsden yeah. No. On Monday? Yeah. No, I'll just so I don't have to deal with her again at Mar Marsden. Is your court hearing Monday? Mon Monday morning. Yeah, I'll in let the middle her know, of a hurricane. How great is that? I'll let her know that that's that's that we discussed this yeah. and that that's your option that you're going to choose to do on Monday. Okay. Now, what about all the stuff that hurt that the that your investigators have supposedly been looking at? And because I haven't been able to see any of that footage yet or anything, because this is my first meeting with her. What happens with all that stuff? 
Um, well, I, I don't know what's going on with it, so I'll have to check on that yeah. too. Because I mean, I would like to, I've been begging her, because I was drugged before the incident, and the video that where I committed the second crime will show that. So I've been trying to get her to get that video, not just of when I knocked the sign down, but of previous when I was robbed and drugged. And I mean, it's been over a month, so I don't know if that video is gone, if she's sabotaged okay. that part of the case as well. You, you can understand. I'll look into it for you, that absolutely. Would be great. I understand. Yeah. Okay, I'll address it with her and I'll let her know that you'll see her in court on Monday and you're probably gonna have a Marston hearing. Yeah. But then after that, is there any recourse I have for my public defender sabotaging the case? Or is that just part of the way it works now? It's not part of the way it works, that's why I have to look into it. Okay, well I okay. appreciate that. Okay. You have a good day. You too. So did you know that she couldn't, that I, every time that I came here those five times, did you know that I couldn't even speak to her if she had been here, that I would have needed to schedule a hearing, I mean a, a meeting? But you didn't know that just normally, that she couldn't? Do you, Mr. Erickson, do you know who told you that? Who told me what? That she couldn't speak to you if you didn't have a meeting? The, would you remember that other, the, the other? I was just going by. No, but there, there was a, the, oh, that fifth day, one of her other supervisors, I, Maybe Middle Eastern, Jessica? Middle Eastern, Marshall, type. Miss Marshall. I don't remember her name. But she came. Yeah, actually, you know what? I think. Okay. Okay. Because she, she came out and she said, "I, there's no point in I being mean, if, here." If, if if you come by and the attorney's available, of course we will try to hook you up with yeah. your attorney. But sometimes, if you if you don't have an appointment, they have other clients well, of course. or other video conferences or jail visits or whatnot. Of course. So I think whoever was telling you is probably just saying in general. No, she was saying you, there's no point in you keep coming down here because she wouldn't see you unless you make an appointment. And of course, I couldn't make an appointment because I didn't have a phone. I phone. think her point was that Sue Fraser's point was that we couldn't guarantee for you to see. Yeah. So maybe it came across you, differently. Yeah. So I'm, I'm sorry for there, if there's I mean, I came down here. You, you see, I'm pushing this. I know. Five times. I understand. And I mean, I'm not work. getting reimbursed for those, that bus fare or anything. It's just, just more pressure. I'm sorry. I don't want the message to be confusing. So I don't want you to think that, of course, we want, we, when clients just show up randomly, it's yeah. hard oh, to say you're going to. But I, I lost my phone. So, right. I mean, that and so that makes sense. Yeah. So I, I, I'm sorry if there's miscommunication, but I'll, I'll be on top of it. I don't want you to think that, like, I have a client that he wants to come in next week, and he called me back and said, are you going to be there all day? I'm like, yep, I'm supervising. I'm here all day. He said, okay. But then he called back and said, well, should I have a set time? So I'm going to tell him, yes, if we can agree on a set time, that's preferred for me. because I, What if I'm away from my desk in another attorney's office for yeah. half an hour doing whatever, helping them with the case? And then I missed that he just showed up at a random yeah. time. So which is which is why each of the times that I sat here and waited for her left messages, you think at one point she would at least alert him, hey, I know he's coming back in tomorrow because he said so on three messages he left for me. Can you just tell him he'd come back on a certain day, a certain time? Nothing. She left no community. I met her at the first hearing, at which point, you know, she just sat there and didn't cross-examine the witnesses that lied. And then she, as we left, she said, I'm going to check. She said she didn't have any more business cards, but she would text me her cell phone number later that day. And a week later, I called and left a message and said, I still got your cell phone number, it's been a week. And then she finally called me, we had a quick conversation, and then I've been sending, I sent her the text about what I sent to the, about the police officer, nothing. Okay. Like, it, it, the, it, can you, can I, do you have any email so I can send you the link? Because I've listed, like I said, it's now public, everything that, conversation we've had, and I think you should see it, because either she's incompetent or she's totally screwing with me. I don't know which it is. But it's weird that she would, so, like, for instance, the judge said, because I have stuff at the storage unit where I committed one of the felonies, I'm not allowed back there. So the judge gave the order that I'm supposed to go with police escort and get my stuff. But they wouldn't release my stuff because I owe them money. So I asked her, I said, that isn't the judge the judge's order binding on both of us? Like, aren't they supposed to have? I mean, they can bill me, but they have to release my stuff. And I asked that three different ways, and she pretended to not understand my question. She pretended. No. You understand I my question. I think the issue is though, no, wait, wait, wait. the police can order your stuff back, but it's a civil matter if you have because you sign a contract yeah. with them. So that contract, that, that's a difficult situation because a criminal can't court can. Order your property released if they're holding it illegally, but they're not. If they're not holding it illegally because you owe them money, then technically, but you would have to get 
give but, them, pay them to get your stuff back. True, except that the the contract is predicated on me continuing this. Like they want me to pay August's rent to get my stuff back, but I can't keep my stuff there for August. So th no. the entire process is incumbent on me staying there as a client, which I'm not allowed to do. But again, you understood that. I just explained it once. I explained it three different ways, and she pretended not to understand my question or what I was okay. asking. Okay. Well, I'm going to have a conversation with her. But again, do you have an email? Can you give me a card or something? I do. Uh, I can give you my email. I'd like, I'd like you to look at the thread and just see if this is normal behavior or just what happens when a public defender is working for the FBI or whatever. Okay, this is all one email. It's just I put on two separate lines because it won't fit, but it's all one straight across. Okay? okay. See you got that. Thank you very much. Okay, and that's my name and my. Uh, I appreciate it. I'm sorry for getting, for getting so upset, but this is my I, life. I understand. She that. still hasn't told me what my maximum charge is. She stipulated in court that she had told me what my maximum penalty is, and I told her in the text, hey, you still haven't told me. And I said, I Googled it, and it said six years is the maximum. She said, no, you're not going to serve six years. And then still didn't tell me. I still haven't been told by someone in your office what my maximum charge is. Well, they should have told you that at arraignment, but you she think. should also tell you as well. So I'll I'll still have a conversation me. with her. Thank you, and I'll You're send fine. you the I'll send you the link. Okay. You have a good day. All right, end scene. Should have seen that coming. <laughs> Visitors.